The heart of the Lotus Sutra lies in its title, or the Daimoku, of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Chanting this phrase in the morning and evening is equivalent to correctly reading the entire Lotus Sutra. In Buddhism, words hold great power. They have the ability to elicit emotions such as happiness, sadness, anger, and love, and language has a profound effect on our lives. Nichiren Daishonin, they say that if you so much as hear the words pickled plum, your mouth will water. Even in everyday life, there are such wonders, so how much greater are the wonders of the Lotus Sutra? Myoho Renge Kyo is the title and essence of the Lotus Sutra, which is considered to be the highest of Shakyamuni's teachings. The title was originally translated from Sanskrit into ancient Chinese characters, and Nichiren Daishonin added the Sanskrit word, Nam, which means, devotion, in front of the characters. Therefore, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo means devotion to the ultimate law of the universe. The characters themselves hold profound principles of life, and when taken together, they express how everything in the cosmos works in one harmonious relationship. It is said that everything has its essential point, and the Daimoku of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the essential point of the Lotus Sutra. By chanting it, one can tap into the power of the universe and align oneself with the rhythm of life. Communication is essential in any field, but it is particularly important in the realm of science and mathematics, where the use of formulas and language can be incomprehensible to those not trained in those disciplines. Scientists and mathematicians, however, are able to convey even the most difficult concepts to one another with precision and accuracy by using these expressions. Similarly, Daisaku Ikeda explains that when we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, even if we do not fully understand its profound meaning, we can tap into the condition of Buddhahood. Through our chanting, our voices penetrate the cosmos and reach the life condition of Buddhahood, permeating our lives and unlocking the palace of Buddhahood, the supreme life condition of eternity, happiness, true self, and purity. It is like music that reaches and filters into people's hearts, calling forth a sympathetic response from them. While it may seem unbelievable at first, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the essence of everyone's life, and chanting this phrase can have countless positive effects on us, from the very core of our being. The degree to which we can benefit from chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo depends entirely on our own sincere efforts in practice, not on any inherent power in the phrase itself, which is limitless. The natural law of life is present in everything, but only by chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and taking action in our daily lives can we activate it and enable it to work for our happiness and the happiness of others. Buddhism teaches the principle of the four powers, the power of the Buddha, the power of the law, the power of faith, and the power of practice. The first two are embodied in the Gohanzen, but they are only activated by the powers of faith and practice of the person who chants to it. In other words, the power of our faith and practice determines the extent to which the power of the Gohanzen can manifest in our lives. By chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with sincerity and taking action in our daily lives, we can tap into the infinite potential within us and transform our lives in immeasurable ways.